Welcome to Seaford Lutheran Church's online service for the first Sunday in Advent. Advent has arrived. And the first Advent candle of hope will be lit in churches around the globe. And what a wonderful hope it is, the pending birth of the Christ child who brings hope to a hopeless world. Jeremiah says in Chapter 29, verse 1, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. This child, this truly awesome gift from our God, gives us hope in this life and the next. This child will show us God in human form and will break down the barriers of sin, death and the devil and give us free access to our Heavenly Father. And Peter Twin will show us this in his very unique and entertaining way what this means for us, that through the barriers gone, we can come to our Father, the awesome, almighty creator of the universe, we can come as a child of God, to speak with him about anything. We can speak with him as a father and a friend because of the hope that Jesus brings us. So let us open this service in the name of God our Father, Jesus his Son, and the Holy Spirit who lives within us. All creation holds its breath. The time is almost here. The heavenly choir of angels waits for its cue to sing. Excitement is all around us. Prepare your hearts. The grace of God takes on human form. Good news, Emmanuel, God with us, comes to us. We gather to make ready our hearts for the coming of Christ, our hope. So let us prepare ourselves for the coming of Jesus at this first Sunday at Advent with the words of hope, the words of Isaiah, prepare ye the way of the Lord. reading for today. The first one comes from Isaiah chapter 9 verses 2, 3, 6 and 7. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness a light has dawned. You have enlarged the nation and increased their joy. They rejoice before you as people rejoice at the harvest, as warriors rejoice when dividing the plunder. For to us a child is born. To us, a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. 
he will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness. From that time on and forever, the zeal of the Lord Almighty will accompany this. Accomplish this. this is the word of our Lord. Thanks be to you, O God. The Gospel read, reading for today comes from Matthew chapter 5, verses 3 to 10. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. This is the gospel of our Lord. Thanks be to you, O Christ. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. Hi guys, so for today's children's talk, we've come outside and we've come to the airport because we're going to talk about communication. <clears throat> so we moved inside the car because it's a bit noisy with all the traffic that's going past us. When we are talking to our friends, you can whisper if they're right next to you, can't you? Or if they're just in the room, you can talk normally like I'm talking to you guys now. What about if they're a long way away? Well, we can't talk normally then, can we? But we can use things like this telephone, um, use a radio, but all of those require special equipment. As you know, I fly things for fun. Um, I fly both these. Um, and to communicate with other aircraft, we have special radios, like this one. Now to use this one, I had to do an exam. I had to do an English test. And we have to use very specific language. So we're sitting at the airport here. Uh, I've just turned this radio on. We'll see if we can hear anything from Adelaide Tower. We may, we may not. You'll notice also, I'm dressed very poshly today. Um, it's not how I normally dress and it feels quite uncomfortable, so. I'm going to change. Yeah, much more comfortable. And that's how you're used to seeing me, isn't it? So. Yankee Tango Hotel, runway 23, cliff takeoff, make left turn. Okay, so we've just heard the tower there telling a pilot that he's okay to take off and tell him what to do once he's taken off. Um, all very specific language that was used there. Our epistle reading today talks about prayer in faith. So, what is prayer? Prayer is our way of speaking with God. We don't need any special equipment. We don't need a radio to talk to him. We don't need a telephone to talk to him. We don't need to 
use any special language. We don't even have to talk out loud when we pray to God and we talk with him because he is within us and he knows what's in our heart. Does God pay more attention to me dressed in my posh self, dressed as my pilot self or how I am normally? No, he doesn't. We don't have to do special things to talk with God. When we pray, the letters of the word show us what we should be doing. We should praise God. We should rejoice that he allows us, his people, to communicate with him in such an easy and simple way, simply by talking to him. We can ask him for things that we need. All prayer is answered. It may not be answered in our time, but it will be answered in God's time. And he will give you what you need, not necessarily what we want. And we must say thank you to God for all the things that he has given us. So today's reading spoke about praying in faith. And when we pray in faith, we forward all issues to heaven. Let's say a little prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for making it so easy to talk to you without having to do any special actions. We thank you for listening and answering our prayers. We love you dearly and we thank you for loving us so much too. Amen. Dear God, we give thanks for our families within our congregation in Australia and around the world. We are so blessed to be a part of your family, the family of infinite love, equality and belonging. May we as your people show others who don't know you that your family is the best family to be in through our words and actions. We pray for those in our church congregation who are unwell and are struggling with life's demands. Wrap them in your love and strength during this time. Amen. Dear God, thanks for giving us special talents. You have given us many talents from singing to surfing to surfing, serving you, God. Help us to recognise the talents who we have been given and use them to share your good news with others. Amen. Dear God, keep us faithful as we wait for the return of your son as king. Thank you for the many gifts you give us. Keep us trusting in you and loving one another. Amen. And now we'll say the Lord's Prayer. Please join in. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. And forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Thank you to all those who have helped us worship today. Thank you, Peter, for your very entertaining uh, but important message. Thank you, Helen, for doing the Bible readings for us, and Melissa and Job for leading us in prayer. We go with the blessing of hope from Romans 15, verse 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope. So let us go into this new week, this new season of Advent 
with God's hope and let us sing the Christmas blessing. May the feet of God walk with you and his hand hold you Thank you.